what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A Michigan lawmaker returned to the state capitol on Wednesday with an armed security detail following a coronavirus lockdown attended by white supremacists and militia groups. Representative Sarah Anthony, a Democrat whose district is in the capital city, Lansing, said in an interview that a security detail made up of local Black and Latino activists came together because the armed protesters banned white supremacist symbols represented a different level of terror. According to Anthony, the April 30 protest was different from prior coronavirus protests that have occurred at the Capitol in recent weeks because many of the demonstrators stormed inside the building and were armed. Anthony also says some of the protesters had Confederate flags and swastikas which she found extraordinarily triggering as an African-American woman. She says she had never experienced anything like that before. Large conservative groups have backed the anti-lockdown demonstrations, many of them being members of militia groups, white supremacists, and gun activists. Why does all of those tend to blur so often? Usually you find a member of one, he's a member of the other. You dig what I'm saying? These are your terrorists in America. These are your homegrown terrorists. Take a look at the last several terrorists. They're going to fall into one of those categories or all. You dig what I'm saying? So until the authorities decide that they're going to go in on them and they're going to really, they've already identified them as a threat finally after 100,000 damn years. So they so-called say they're threats now, but they aren't doing anything about it. She did the right thing. Sarah did the right thing. You have to protect yourself. You really cannot rely on the government to protect us. You can't do that. You can't do that because they don't care. Now, the White House has supported the social distancing orders. But Trump, on the other hand, decides that he's also going to play the other side and say that he supports the protesters. And he said they're good people. Remember that? Remember last time he said some people was good people? Somebody got killed. Trump always trying to play both sides of the fence but he's gonna stand firm on that white supremacist side, that gun activist side, that militia group side. That's his core. That's his people. Those are the organizations that his pappy used to belong to. Yeah, well documented, look it up. They got his daddy on the cover of one of those New York magazines at a Klan rally. Yeah. Look it up. Can't remember if it was on the cover or inside the pages, but yeah, he's in there. He's in the papers. His daddy at a Klan rally. The last time I stood up for a black female lawmaker, YouTube shut my channel down. They reinstated it. But the fact that they shut it down in the first place is telling. It was a very similar situation. You had some white supremacists called the Proud Boys who was trying to intimidate Maxine Waters. They had threatened her life. And Maxine Waters had supporters who posseed up and went up there to protect her at our offices. And of course, they didn't show up because they only move when they got numbers, when they have a clear cut advantage. That's the only time they move. That's why I would advise who's ever in that group of Sarah's detail to get some more people, get a lot more people, because it's a lot of them. If you got to get people driving in from out of town, 
you got to go hard. You got to meet force with force. Because if something go down and they get the drop on y'all, ain't nothing but six of y'all and 300 of them show up or a thousand of them show up, that's not going to be good. They will risk a few to make that point. Just know that. And the police ain't going to do nothing. In fact, the police might be shooting at you too. But when that force is there, they're not going to do nothing because they don't want to bleed. Ain't nothing going to happen. Nothing will happen. It'll be like walking out of church on a Sunday. They're all cool and breezy. Everybody, yeah, okay, see you later. Hi, hi, everything okay. That's how it'll be. So you got to protect yourself. The government is not going to protect us. The, the, the president is playing both sides of the fence. He's already got one woman killed. Remember? Dude don't care. We're on our own. The police is not going to side with the protesters who counter-protest those who want the lockdown to end police is going to be on their side. You know why I know the police is going to be on their side? If they wasn't, they would have downed a few of them when they went up there and stormed the Capitol with those guns and got all in the face. It wasn't the fact that they just stormed the Capitol with the guns. They got all in the face of the police. They was punking the police. They punked them. Now, some of them are their friends and stuff, so it was all like a show for them. But some of the other ones... They was just there doing their job and they were scared to death. The government has the green light going at those militias and white supremacists. They got a green light. That's the only way to slow this stuff down. But maybe you got some better ideas. Drop a comment. I love to hear. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?